welcome back to Virago. So today in this video, I am going to be sharing with you guys a makeup haul. I already did film this earlier, but my audio, I don't know what was the issue. My audio just did not record. So I'm here again filming and I am going to be showing you all of the makeup products that I bought recently. And there are some amazing products. There are some affordable, some high-end products, which I feel you should definitely, definitely look at because they are amazing and I am going to do like a mini review on each of these products so that you guys have a better idea as to how that product works on my skin tone or how it works during the day and how it sits on the skin and all of that stuff which is important before you go ahead and buy any makeup product because every product is expensive even the cheapest of products you are spending money so you have to like you know be sure as to you know they are good or not so i'm here to help you guys out i think we should definitely get started because i have literally a basket full of makeup that i want to talk about so let's quickly get started but before going please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified every single time i upload a video now let's get started the first thing that i tried out was this la girl tinted foundation it says it's a buildable natural finish and i had gotten two shades one is golden and the other one is a tawny tawny was like the perfect match for my skin tone which is a medium skin tone and just for reference i'm an nc40 in mac i know a lot of you guys ask me that so tawny is like my exact match now i want to talk a little bit about this foundation because oh my god it is so good so firstly it's a tinted foundation so it has like a sheer to medium coverage but it has this beautiful dewy finish to it it does not cover like everything but it just evens out my skin tone it will not cover up my dark spots or anything of that sort and that is not exactly what i was aiming for i just wanted a little bit of coverage just to even out my skin tone and this did exactly that it is a very lightweight finish blends beautifully and sits beautifully on my oily skin trust me i have oily skin and this foundation just was so good it lasted me the entire I think time I was wearing the makeup was around like six to seven hours. That's how much, that's how long I think I was wearing my makeup and it was looking beautiful, flawless and just like skin, you know, I loved it. I will show you the application and you can see how beautifully it blends. I feel like this is going to be like an everyday wearing foundation, perfect for a college going girl or a person who goes to office just wants a little bit of coverage so that you know you look a little put together this is an amazing foundation for that and everyday wear and i feel like i'm gonna wear this foundation quite a lot like for my everyday makeup so yeah highly highly recommend it i'm very very happy with this particular purchase i also wanted to mention this brush that i use to apply the foundation this is a pack 231 brush and it is an amazing brush to apply foundation with it's pretty soft it's dense it's dual fiber so it's going to be perfect for any foundation application it just blended it out beautifully my like my foundation was looking very very smooth so a very good brush if you are looking for one to apply your foundation or your base products with so now next i had this concealer which was recently launched on nika i am talking about the huda beauties fox filter concealer i got two shades the first shade is granola which is like my concealing shade and the other shade that i got is salted caramel i got this shade to bronze up my skin with because i usually love using cream products especially concealers to you know give me that bronzy look because it has a little bit of coverage also the color i find like better formulas and better color range in a concealer firstly i thought this concealer is going to be like a very full coverage matte concealer like the foundation but it is not that whatsoever it's a beautiful creamy radiant healthy looking um hydrating formula i sh i must say so i particularly like my concealers to have hydrating formula and this is exactly that it gives me this beautiful natural finish under the eyes and it has a medium to full coverage it's not like a very very full coverage it's like buildable medium to full coverage which i like and it's very very lightweight under the eyes you won't feel it heavy it blends beautifully and even the bronzing shade a little bit goes a long way because you don't want too much while you're bronzing but under the eyes you want to conceal so you might end up using a little bit more and i think um 
overall i would l like give this particular concealer like a 9 out of 10 because it's a beautiful formula buildable blendable breathable formula yeah, i love 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 this concealer i highly recommend it if you guys were thinking of you know buying this one it's an amazing amazing concealer and a little bit can go a long way so it is going to last you for quite some time the next thing that i bought is this revlon kiss cloud blotted lip color this is in the shade soft sienna now i thought this is going to be like a cheek tint but this is actually a lip color but i still ended up using it as a cheek tint because i felt like the formula is going to be really good as you know a cheek tint or like a cream blush and i was right it is this beautiful color as you can see this is this warm orangey pinky shade which is perfect on my medium skin for everyday wear it just gives me that sun kissed cheeks that i'm looking for and it's a very breathable blendable lightweight formula do you see it it blends so beautifully it has this very beautiful velvety texture to it just makes my cheeks look very very smooth so i really liked this um i won't say that it's a very wowing product it's an okay product which i don't mind using but i like the formula i like the way it blends so yeah i i don't mind using this particular formula but i have my rare beauty cream blushes which do an amazing job of you know smoothing my skin you know and adding that little bit of glow that i'm looking for this doesn't have much of a glow this is more like a matte formula which i'm not a big fan of but it's still good next of course i had to buy a liquid highlighter cuz you guys must be knowing i have that swiss uh, liquid highlighter which i am obsessed with so i saw a very similar packaging in sugar and on the website it actually looked a lot more golden color yeah sorry on the website it looked a lot more gold than what it came it looks completely copper and it does not i got the shade cheek slet cheek slest and uh, this is like a very bronzy liquid highlighter and i tried it out on my cheeks but it was not really the exact color that i wanted but the formula is pretty good it's pretty reflective i don't know whether you can see it's this wet reflecty glow which i am all about so i'm definitely going to try out another shade in this and see if it is as good as my swiss beauty is highlighter uh but definitely i can use this all over my body or a little bit uh, near my bronzing area but i don't usually use like shimmery products in my bronzing or contour products so probably i'm going to use this on my body next for eyes i had this particular eyeshadow palette that i saw later on so i filmed another video which i will show you a clip how this particular palette perform but it's not in the original video that i uh, filmed but i still want to talk about this particular palette this is the too faced kitty likes to scratch a palette now this is a palette that is completely my vibe it has all the browns it has the copper shimmer the pink shimmer and then there's a black there's like a bone shade or like a skin tone shade and this is like an a complete palette that i will definitely definitely buy so I did use this on my eyes today. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes right now and the pigmentation is just so beautiful. I don't think I tried out yeah, I have tried out the two Too Faced chocolate palette. I think that is the one and it had such amazing pigmentation. The formula on that palette is amazing. Again, one of my absolute favorite palettes, but on this as well, it is the pigmentation is just so good it's a very very pigmented palette as you can see and even the metallic shade is pretty good i'm not tried out the black oh wow the black is like super black look at that so i feel like these kinds of palettes are perfect for traveling and i do a quite a lot of traveling i go to bombay i come back to bangalore so i need to you know carry something which is lightweight in my travel bag so i think this is going to be perfect for that and i love love the color range is exactly what i need but let's get back to the original video the original video i actually used this this is the smashbox always on cream shadow wow what a product you guys i have this since a very long time but i just couldn't you know sit down and use this cuz i was just scared cream eyeshadows usually scare me sometimes 
they are so mad that they don't blend or sometimes they are so creamy that they go everywhere so for me cream eyeshadows are something that i'm really scared to use but uh, i was like this is the time i think i should try it out because i have spent so much money on this so come on drawer mein pade pade to nahi rakh sakte it's better to use it so i did try it out and i'm so glad i did because this is going to be like my go to eyeshadow for like every day wear this cream eyeshadow is so freaking pigmented firstly let me tell you what this is uh the shade this shade is sienna quite a lot of shades are in the name of sienna so basically usually sienna shades are more like that warm brick tone browns and this is exactly exactly that and look how pigmented it is and look how beautifully it's still blending it blends like a dream and it just looks so smooth on the eyes and the color is just that beautiful brick brown shade that gives me that smoky look on my eyes effortlessly it just makes my eyes look so so beautiful i really really loved it i did not even go ahead and set it with any kind of powder this was the only thing that i was wearing on my eyes and it did not budge and it was looking beautiful i love 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 this i'm going to definitely try out some other shades in this particular range because there are some fun colors in this range so yeah love love this next i had this swiss beauty jet black bold felt tip eyeliner that i had gotten and again this is a felt tip liners use usually these kind of liners are you know either a hit or a miss you they are either super black but sometimes they leak and you know go into the cracks and sometimes they are not as pigmented and not that great but this one has a perfect formula you guys firstly i'm going to swatch it for you and you're going to see how black it is it's supreme black and it's very very precise i did a wing liner using this it was very easy to use but the best part about this is that it is waterproof budge proof kind of an eyeliner usually these felt tip liners don't uh, are not that budge proof or waterproof they usually leak if my eyes water but this one did not even while i was removing it from my hand it was really tough even after i removed my oil cleanser which i usually do and i was like it did come out but it did take some effort so it's a good thing that this particular eyeliner is waterproof i really really love a waterproof eyeliner which has this supreme black shade to it and has a beautiful tip to you know do my wing liners with cuz i want something that is very very easy to do wing liners and i love 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 doing wing liners you guys know that so okay for mascaras i had two mascaras that i wanted to try out first one is this this is the la girls Jet Setter Mascara. Now this one uh, says it gives you very lengthy lashes. It's for length and lash lift. It's not a volumizing mascara. So this is what the wand looks like. So this is the wand, which is a brush bristle, which I'm not mad about. But the actual formula is an okay formula. It did lift my lashes. It did give me a lot of curl, and it did give me a lot of length. but uh, it did not give me volume i have really really sparse lashes so i need a mascara which gives me good 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 volume but this did not do that so most probably i'm not going to be using this particular mascara for my everyday use cuz mere eyelashes itne kuch uthke nahi aa rahe the so for me this is a pass the other one that i had is this one this is the wet and wilds a uh, big papa mascara now this is a gem you guys firstly the packaging is so cute it has a crown right here and it says bigger is better but this is the wand it's like that uh, classic curvy wand that we see in lash paradise and a couple of more mascaras better than sex the better than sex has a little bit more of a fatter tip but this is a little bit more tapered it has brush bristles as well now this is a mascara that is totally up my alley this gave me so much volume so much lift and so much just everything that i was looking for in a mascara this is amazing it is waterproof as well actually this mascara did not budge and it did not flake on me for me flaky mascara is like a no go but this is a beautiful mascara i think i found a new good mascara now let's move on to the rest of the 
face makeup. Now for bronzer, I had gotten this one. This is the Makeup Revolution Super Bronzer Powder. It says super matte finish, lightweight touch. And this is what it looks like. Now I was pleasantly surprised by this particular bronzer. I thought it's not going to do much and it's not going to be the tone that I'm looking for. But I was completely wrong. So I used this particular bronzer to top it up, uh, top up my uh, concealer that I had used from Huda Beauty, which had already given me quite a good glow. But I needed to set it and add a little bit more, you know, warmth to my face. And I did use this. Now the formula on this is just beautiful. It's very very smooth, and it just applied beautifully. It was not patchy. The color is. Perfect. It's the perfect mix of cool toned and warm toned brown. And also I wanted to mention this brush that I used along with it. This is a Renee's powder brush. This is R1. And look at how luxe this brush looks. Look at it. It has a beautiful handle. And then the bristles are like wow so soft velvety in touch now i particularly wanted to use this particular brush to bronze with because it has this flat attendedness i will call it i don't know what to call it but yeah it is gonna like it was gonna sit perfectly to apply my bronzer and i just wanted to dust my bronzer i didn't want it to be too concentrated i wanted to look like very airbrushed and this did exactly that i would not mind topping it up do you see that it just is Picking up a little and adding like a very subtle color very naturally to my cheeks. That's what I was looking for and this bronzer did exactly that. The color is beautiful. Everything about this bronzer is amazing and I'm so glad I found like a drugstore bronzer which won't hurt my pocket. Now for blush, I had this blush from uh, this new brand called as La Moire. I, I'm not sure. Uh, how to pronounce it but have you guys used this particular brand before because I have not seen it I have not seen it anywhere this is just something that I saw on Nika and I was like interesting the packaging is damn cute and the shades were also beautiful honestly so I have two shades with me one is apricot which is this orangey pinky warm tone peachy shade you can say which is a little bit more deeper for my skin but I don't mind that color at all and the other one is this this is the shade rose apple and this is the one that I was wearing on my cheeks so I have some amazing things to say about this blush I was pleasantly surprised firstly this blush has a little bit of uh, shimmer shininess going on but it's not like a chunky shimmer whatsoever it just adds this beautiful glow to the cheeks I wouldn't mind using it also the brush that I used was this uh, Rene's contour R3 brush to apply this blush and it's very pigmented so you make sure you dust it off and just do you see that it's so pigmented and very very smooth looking and just adds this beautiful pinky nest to my cheeks which looks absolutely pretty this particular color is so so pretty and this is going to be something that I will use every single day because it is something that I you know this is the kind of blush shade that I like to use on an everyday basis look at that how pretty is that shade it's like the perfect pinky blush with the perfect amount of warmth in it and it's just so good this particular shade is just so good rose apple i highly highly recommend this particular shade and then the other shade is this which is apricot which is again a beautiful shade but it's a little deeper so it will look good on those summery days that i want a little bit of warmth on my cheeks and again do you see how pigmented that blush is now i have these highlighters which were recently launched from uh, this brand called as verified do you guys know about verified if you don't where have you been verified is a brand from anam she's a youtuber here a beauty content creator here as well as on instagram you should definitely check her out she has some amazing products in her brand verified i also have her blushes which are amazing the shade range is amazing and even the quality and the formula of the blushes are amazing so i was definitely looking forward to try out the highlighter so i have three shades with me the first is this particular shade called as a topaz 
which is this beautiful pinky shade highlighter then the other shade that i have is citrine this is what it looks like now this is the perfect champagne mix of pink and gold highlight which is exactly what i look for in a highlighter shade and the last shade that i have is called as morganite now this is like a lavender colored highlighter if you can see which is interesting which can be a beautiful blush chopper or even like as a highlighter it will be good if i'm wearing like cool toned makeup that can be good but i want to show you the formula of this this is my favorite shade from this particular range citrine and look how pigmented it is and look how reflecty it is do you see that it's a stunning highlighter and the more you blend out the more it just intensifies and has this reflectiness to it which i really really like i love the formula and i love the shade so i did wear this on this side of my face and then on the other side i did try out the other highlighter that i had purchased this is the lottie london's imagination ultra glow loose highlighting powder now i'm a big fan of loose highlighting powder i had the kylie's loose highlighting powder and i used to love it to bits but i left it in bombay so yeah that's that so i use it whenever i go there because i love 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 the formula of that so i wanted to try this one out now this is i think it comes only in one shade and the shade is again something that i really really like it's that perfect champagne shade i don't know if you guys can see i want to show you the particular formula of this as well now this is a very very uh subtle highlight i can say do you see that it just adds a little bit of glow wherever you apply it so this can be used as an overall highlighter for the face if you want that beautiful sun kissed glow all over your face this is something that you can definitely use because it's not chunky it has very fine glitter not glitter fine shimmer in it and i did use it as my highlighter right here and it gave me this glistening wet glow on my cheeks which i was actually looking for but it's not that intense glow it's that beautiful sun kissed glowy cheeks wet glow kind of a look and i really really feel that this is something that i'm going to be using quite often to you know just add a little bit of glow wherever i need it either on the top of my cheeks or just all over my face or all over my body this is something that is going to be multi purpose for lips i got this lip liners from la colors this is the la colors gel lip liner i got two shades one is my favorite nude and the other one is cafe and this is what it looks like now again these are very very affordable lip liners and the shades that i got are actually the perfect kind of nude shades that i like to apply before i go in with any kind of lipstick so i'll show you the shade this is my favorite nude look at that the perfect warm toned nude shade that i usually use and then the other shade is cafe which is more of a deeper pinky nude shade which is again something that i use quite often and again the formula is very very good like it's very pigmented but it's not overly creamy where you know it might end up leaking here and there i want my formulas of lip liners to be a little bit more coarser than a lipstick so this is like the perfect lip liner formula and i really like the shade so i am definitely going to be using this for my everyday makeup or any kind of lipstick that i apply this is something that i think i'm going to reach out for quite a lot then for lipstick i had these lipsticks from milani i really don't know what their name is but i got the shades tease and desire now these were new releases i love the packaging look at how beautiful the packaging looks it it's going to look really good sitting on my vanity because they look like lux liquid uh, lux lipsticks now the shade tease is more like that shade that i used to use called as stepping out from smashbox if you guys remember it's that cool tone nude uh, shade so this is exactly that do you see that that's a beautiful shade so like a darker lip liner and then right in the center if i apply this it just looks good now the only thing that i didn't like is that 
these are satin finish i honestly thought these are gonna be like that matte finish lipsticks uh i'll just show you the other shade first and then we'll talk about that this is the shade desire which i'm wearing on my lips right now and this is the color they are very very pigmented very comfortable on the lips all of that but it just doesn't have a matte finish and i'm someone who loves loves a matte finish lipstick i don't like satin finish either i'm gonna go like a complete gloss or i'm gonna go like complete matte i don't like the in between satin feeling on my lips because i feel like they just look incomplete and not that flattering so i love the shades but i don't like that it's a satin finish i would have loved it if they would have been like matte formulas because the shades were beautiful so yeah a little disappointed in that but never mind so yeah guys those were all the makeup products that i bought i hope i was helpful to you guys you guys came to know what products were good what products were not and in case you were planning on buying any of these i hope i made your decisions better so yeah i think there were quite a few hits in this particular video which i feel i'm gonna be using quite often and you guys are gonna be seeing quite often so yeah that's it i think i am gonna go now and if you all have any other questions or any other queries or any other suggestions for videos that you guys would like to see on my channel let me know in the comment section below i am gonna go now and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video very soon and bye